welcome back students in this video we should be doing we'll be doing question number six and seven the last two questions for this chapter <coughs> so this is the question which is given okay it is given that one is a zero of the polynomial seven x minus x to the power three minus six find its other cube other zeros so you look at this you look at this cubic equation when you look at this what is um the variable with the highest uh, power what is the highest power over here it is three right the, the, the degree of this polynomial is 3 that means it's bound to have three zeros keep that in mind okay so you should get three zeros so they have already given us one of the zeros okay right and what are zeros these are zeros when you substitute the value of xs you'll get the equation as zero so for, for instance here one of our zeros is given a seven so when you substitute over here that means when you substitute x as 1 into 1 minus 1 cube minus 6, so 7 minus 1 minus 6 gives you 0, right? So such types, um, so these are called zeros, okay? So we have to find two other values, clear? Two other values, how do we know? Because the degree given here, the highest power here is 3, so that means there will be three zeros and they have given us 1. So first we'll go with solution. So they have given us the first 0, which is x equal to 1, okay? So when I take x to the left hand side, this becomes x minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, um, we can divide, okay, we can divide uh, 7x minus 6 cubed minus 6 by x minus 1. Division algorithm becomes necessary um, because we can only use splitting the middle terms if it is a, if the given equation is a quadratic polynomial, okay. So divide x minus 1 no uh, I'll rearrange it and write this x 7 minus 7 cube plus 7x minus 6 by x minus 1 clear so you just divide x minus 1 minus x cube plus 7x minus 6 so you should multi what should you multiply x with in order to get minus x cube so obviously it's going to be minus x square because when you multiply x with minus x square you get this as minus x cube right so minus into minus becomes plus 1 into x squared becomes x squared. So this becomes plus, this will become minus. So cancelled out, bring down minus x squared. You cannot subtract 7x with x squared because the degree here is completely different. It has degree 1, this is degree 2. All right. So you cannot do any cancellation. Now 7 minus 7x and minus 6 will remain as it is. Okay. Next step, what should you multiply minus x square uh, x with in order to get minus x square? You should multiply with minus x, right? So x into minus x gives you minus x square. Minus into minus becomes plus, right? X one into x gives you x. So this will become plus and this will become minus. So you just cancelled out seven minus x gives you six x minus six plus six, okay? Because you should multiply x with 6 in order to get 6x, right? So x into 6 gives you 6x minus 6. So that means this is 0. Therefore, minus x squared minus x plus 6 is a factor, okay? But um, we'll try to find out the zeros, clear? So in order to find out the zeros, we can use... Uh, so, so we try to find... We find the zeros. We find the zeros by using splitting the middle terms okay by using splitting the middle terms it's a very important concept uh, you go back to class 9 if you're not very clear of this splitting the middle terms splitting the middle terms okay or using quadratic e formula okay so for this case we'll do one thing we shall use quadratic formula all right so using quadratic formula try to re remember this okay quadratic formula remember you can use only quadratic formula when you're given a quadratic equation and a quadratic equation is any equation of this form ax square plus bx plus c so the equation we got now is minus x square minus x plus c okay and quadratic formula is um, minus b plus minus i'm sure you have come across this b square minus 4ab divided by ac sorry um, sorry okay that's wrong 4 ac divided by 2a this is your quadratic formula okay, all right so how do you find out b and all of that remember this is your quadratic equation therefore rough work 
So ax squared plus bx plus c. So this is the same thing as minus x squared. Mm, I'll just write here minus x plus c. Okay. So over here your a is going to be minus 1. B is also going to be minus 1 and C is going to be 6. If you're ever confused, please try to write this given equation in the form of this. Okay, so when you write here plus, automatically this minus cannot go anywhere, we cannot just remove. So you have to, you're bound to put a plus over there. Okay, so now it looks like this AX squared plus BX, right, plus C. Clear? So this is A, B, and C's value. Therefore, your minus B is going to be minus 1 plus minus, okay your b square is going to be minus 1 square okay this is to in order to find out the value of x minus 4 into a is given as minus 1 c is given as 6 okay put under bracket and then 2 into minus 1 so you make the necessary changes minus into minus become plus this becomes 1 minus 1 square become minus minus into minus becomes plus so plus 4 into 6 becomes 24 divided by minus 2 so you have 1 plus minus root 5 or root 25 by minus 2 okay so you can re remove the bracket out you'll be given plus by minus 2 therefore um, okay I'll just try to write it in one slide itself so I'll just write it over here okay the next step so after we're done with this so you have x must be equal to 1 plus 5 by minus 2 or and x must be equal to 1 minus 5 by minus 2 okay so you'll be getting this as 1 plus 5 is 6 minus 2 and x is going to be equal to minus 4 by 2 right so 6 2 into 3 so you are getting this as minus 3 and there's a minus sign here minus minus cancel 2 into 2 so x equal to 2 therefore the other zeros are x equal to minus 3 and x equal to 2 you see what you're comfortable with okay if you're comfortable using the spl uh, splitting the middle terms you stick to that if you're comfortable using quadratic formula you just try to stick to that okay if it's specifically asked to use quadratic formula then you'll have to use that if not please try to use this or try to find out what works for you this, this is the second question which is given again okay? if two zeros of the polynomial um, x to the power 4 find the other zeros now you first the first thing is the first clue that you you at least understand is how many zeros will be there so what is the highest power here 4 right so that means there are going to be four zeros keep that in mind okay there are going to be four zeros that have given us two zeros okay see two zeros are this so therefore solution the two zeros are 2 plus minus so that means it's going to be 2 plus root 3 and x must be equal to 2 minus root 3 these are the two zeros everyone play with this okay and we have to find how many how many other zeros are going to be there two other zeros okay so let's go with this okay therefore I'll write this as I can write this can I do this it still makes sense right I'm just bringing 2 plus root 3 to the left hand side okay and same goes for this and then I'll write this as equation 1 and equation 2 okay therefore multiplying we have done a similar question to that to this right multiplying equation one and equation two it's uh, it, it looks at uh, this is we're just using a reverse of middle splitting the middle terms okay from the last steps we're building it up to the first step okay because if you remember splitting the middle terms we'll get a, a quadratic equation and then from there we try splitting the middle terms then we get two factors and then finally we come across um, factors that are of this form right so we're trying to do the reverse of that okay so if you multiply equation 2 and equation 3 this is what you'll get into x minus 2 minus root 3 okay you can just always put in equal to 0 therefore um, let's multiply okay so I'll multiply first with all of this so x multiplied with x minus I'll open up the bracket okay so minus 2 plus minus minus becomes plus root 3 okay there's a minus sign here so now this is this okay so minus 2 plus root 3 I'll multiply it with this term so this becomes x minus 2 plus root 3 okay 
So this becomes x into x becomes x square, x minus x becomes minus 2x plus root 3x. Now same thing for this, you try multiplying all of this, okay, turn by turn, okay. So I'll be just doing here directly, but be very careful with the sign, okay. So this is going to be minus 2x, minus into minus becomes plus, so plus 4, minus 2 into plus becomes minus 2 root 3 plus into minus becomes minus root 3x be very careful with the sign plus into minus into plus becomes minus root 3 into minus 2 so plus plus 2 root 3 and finally minus root 3 into plus root 3 becomes minus 3 equal to 0 okay i'll just do i'll just do your alpha um, some of you might be still confused so okay if you can do this well and good if not you can just follow this step you can add this step okay in case in exam you get confused i've opened up the bracket for this okay minus two minus three so i'll first multiply this so minus two you have to multiply with x minus two plus root three and finally minus root three you must multiply it with x minus two plus root three okay so open up the bracket minus two x minus minus plus four minus into this minus two root three minus root three into x minus root three x minus into minus plus becomes plus plus two root three minus root 3 into root 3 becomes 3 so this is what you're getting okay so start start cancelling you can cancel this out oh this is also going to be 3x okay you can also cancel this okay i think that is all you can cancel therefore the equation becomes x square 2x minus 2x minus 4x for 4 minus 3 becomes plus 1 equal to 0 okay so we're asked to find the other zeros all right okay so absolutely we'll have to find the other zeros now in order to find the other zeros therefore we divide um, <coughs> we will divide x to the power 4 minus 6x cubed minus 2 6x squared plus 138x minus 35 by this is the given quadratic equation okay x square x square minus 4x plus 1 okay look so what happens is we are doing the reverse uh, a reverse of of um, of splitting the middle terms you try solving this okay x square minus 4x use you try using it the, uh, uh, by using the quadratic formula when you use the quadratic formula you'll be able to you end up getting these two values okay so it's quite interesting but you'll end up getting these two values okay okay so you just do try doing that um, so we're trying to find this out okay now we shall divide okay because other than division we cannot use any other method okay as far as this chapter is concerned minus 26 x square plus 138 x minus 25 so <coughs> you should multiply x square with x square in order to get x to the power 4 minus 4 x into this will give you minus 4 x cube and this will give you plus x square right so this becomes there's a plus here minus this will become plus this will become minus so cancel this minus 6 x cube plus 4 x cube will give you minus 2 x cube this minus 26 x square minus x square becomes minus 27 x square bring down 138 x inside and take it now next thing you should multiply what should you multiply x square with in order to get minus 2x cube obviously minus 2x right so x square into minus 2x cube give, uh, gives you minus 2x cube minus 4 into minus 4 becomes plus 8x square plus into minus becomes minus 2x so you, this, you can cancel this out this will become minus this will become plus so minus into minus gives you minus 35x square plus 38 plus 2x gives you 140x minus 35 now what should you multiply x square with in order to get minus 35x obviously it's going to be minus 35 so x square minus 35x gives you minus 35x square minus 4 and my first multiply the minus minus into minus becomes plus in fact 35 into 4 is going to be 140 so what 35 into 4x gives you 140x and minus into plus minus 35 so you can always cancel this out therefore x square minus 2x minus 35 is the factor okay and we use and we will use 
quadratic formula to get its zeros quadratic formula to get its zeros okay all right so you can use the splitting uh, you can use splitting the middle terms if you're comfortable with that okay absolutely no problem but i'm just going to be using quadratic formula okay so you can try both ways okay it's better to learn uh, certain formulas so that um, we can always use it okay if we know more the better so i'll be using this formula okay try to remember this formula so over here your a is going to be one your b is going to be minus two and your c is going to be minus 35 okay because this equation can also be written as x squared plus minus 2 of x plus minus 35 so this is exactly in the form of a x squared plus b x plus c right so a will be 1 b will be minus 2 and c will be minus 35 therefore let's use this in the formula therefore x equal to minus of minus 2 okay because it's written minus b plus to minus root over b square would be minus 2 square minus 4 into a is 1 and this is going to be minus 35 divided by 2 into 1 so this minus into minus becomes 2 plus to minus root over minus minus square gives you 4 plus 140 divided by 2 2 plus minus 140 plus 4 gives you 144 by 2 so this becomes 2 plus minus 12 by 2 therefore okay i'll just write here x equal to 2 plus 12 by 2 and x is equal to 2 minus 12 by 2 see there are two two possibilities in the sense 2 plus minus 12 so you have to um, execute for both you have to execute once for plus and once for minus so this becomes 14 by 2 and this becomes minus 10 by 2 so this will become give you x equal to 7 and this will give you x equal to 5 therefore the other zeros are 7 and minus 5 okay so in order to verify you substitute x as um, 7 x as 7 in this equation and also x as 5 in this given equation up to this much and you see if you're getting 0 or not okay so we shall end the video here